Hi, welcome. My name is Pedro Alpiar Solutions, aka ProBuner, and this tutorial is geared for those with abstraction skills that have superficial uh, math and programming notions but want to improve what they can do inside a procedural environment like Lightwaves 3D Node Editor. For that, the goal here is to acquire a library of simple operations, concepts, routines, things that pop up everywhere in the 3D world and are to be reused over and over. So uh, usually everything starts with an idea, something that wants to be done, an effect, a control a behavior and the first step is to look into those and break them down into simpler and simpler operations uh, smaller and smaller problems so small that you can you know, handle them to hand them, over, hand them over to basic math or use uh, third-party uh, nodes that sometimes have more complex operations and when that that's not the case sometimes you have to you know build the operations yourself because no one's uh, doing what you what you want so that's why it's nice to focus on small operations first because then you can build your way up to um, more complex operations and do your own and not to be dependent on someone else to uh, solve it for you so <clears throat> after breaking an effect into smaller problems smaller steps it's a bit like a cooking recipe so you know if you follow a set of instructions in the end you get a meal with characteristics that you were looking for so we, we get like this these node trees a bit like you know a cooking recipe where you have some ingredients things that come from the scene data that comes from the scene and you mix them <clears throat> bake and shake <laughs> you do a lot of things to them until you get uh, something you wanted it happens like i said that sometimes there's operations that the you, you they, they are not solved for you you have to do them yourself so at those times sometimes you have to small to, to solve those small problems on the side maybe even in a different test scene away from the you know the scene where you want to apply the effect just to check if you're getting that uh, small problem correctly and then when you're done you can you know compound it and bring it back to the main scene where you want it to be used uh, and that happens with several things the cool thing is the more compounds you do the more you know you don't have to compound everything but the more problems you uh, the small problems you start solving the more you can apply them to other problems so here I'm, i show another sub problem being uh, solved with the with one that was used uh, before that was solved before and that's that's really what i'm after here so this is not like a project based tutorial or a single effect um, based tutorial it's more about starting really small i'm going to uh, i'm going to start by talking Talking about data very simple operations and build my way up to things that can be interesting to to use in effects i don't know if i'm going to uh, get to effects themselves like full effects ready for production and so on but that's really not what i'm interested in here what i'm interested in is problem solving i want to do something small as this how do i do it uh, decomposing operations it's very nice to decompose operations because then you can you know bring them back together but with a small change something that you weren't controlling before now you're controlling because you know you you did it yourself and you you parameterized some aspect of it that now you can just you know run that slider and things happen so that's really what uh, what excites me when I'm I'm doing things with nodes and I would I want to pass on to others so um, let's see an example here in Lightwave 3D where I have uh, two nulls making a gradient and they make a gradient so bit one null is zero another one is one and there's a gradient say in this direction and then there's other points that are fed into the compound and it, they are projected onto the line and then you know you check on the line where that position in the gradient and then you say like this point has like 0.6 of a value so this uh this compound here is not uh it's not an effect by itself it's just a tool so whenever i think i need a gradient in 3d space not not on the axis because that we have with uh, the native nodes i i think well yeah i'm just going to use that compound i've done it already i don't need to think about it again so and i can use this in and any any um any context where the node editor is used so i'm here i'm using in instances i can use this for rendering so for example if i come here well, first let me let me show this working so okay so you can see the gradient um, affecting here both the size actually i was in the wrong node editor uh the weight and the scale of the instances and you can see that when I move the other also changes so that's it um, on I also put it on the node uh, on the surface editor where you can see if I turn on VPR and I move the, the nulls you can see it controls the gradient between uh, blue and here's the mixer between blue and yellow and so these are like this is just 
like a function. It has no, it's not an effect on itself. And this is what uh, I'm very interested in, that people start to build their own. I'm going to ship several compounds. Um, they are not like production proven, but they are, they serve as you can, you know, you can use them just like this without caring about the details. And that's the procedural way of doing things is solving them. And then you don't, you just don't care about the details. You solved it already. I just want to use the, the, the result. But when you're starting and you have to build your own, it's nice to, you know, inspect what's going on and see for yourself what's inside and try to figure it out and well maybe i even have something wrong here and you can improve it or set more parameters like i have other and other compounds with more parameters so it's all about uh, that being creative uh, with solutions that you know usually they are closed up for us when when i come here for example and i put you know something from dp kit <clears throat> Okay, so if I put here this rotate, I mean, I can change this rotate. But if I start to understand how rotating a vector works and, you know, how, how to center a rotation, etc., I maybe I can do a, a rotation operation that does more things that I need that uh, this rotation alone doesn't do. Or I can change the order of the axis of the rotation, etc. So it's all about this, about uh, being a bit more in control uh, of, of what's going on through the note editor. So I hope you can feel that empowerment in the end. I hope. Cheers.